Molly Evans, and I'm a senior at Springbrook High School. Next year, I will be attending Cornell University. My name is Alyssa Parker, and I'm also a senior at Springbrook High School. Next year, I'll be attending UC Berkeley. We've been in computer programming for four years, and I've done two years of web development. We co-founded the Springbrook Women in Technology Club, and last summer, we were interns with Lockheed Martin. The one thing that I love about computer science is that it encourages innovation over information. We're computer science students. We know how to use Google. But XNA really encourages you to create something new. XNA makes you combine other skills from other classes. For example, you have to use art to make your game look good. Similarly, you have to use physics to make your game look realistic. When we co-founded, as I said before, the Springbrook Women in Technology Club. To get more money to fund the club, we applied to a grant. Um, Mika, Mika, I'm sorry, and we actually won our first grant, and we used it to buy excellent Microsoft students, which of course were pink. I think this was the primary interest for girls wanting to join the club, because you're not sitting down in front of a computer looking at code. You're programming for a music device. That's awesome, and actually our, I think it contributed to our success. We tripled the retention in girls from one year to the next. So, as this picture shows, there are many extremists with the Microsoft suit. <laughs> it's the extremists like this that make programming for it fun and worthwhile, because you're not just programming for some boring device, you're programming for a musical device, like she said, and that makes it fun and brings it to a whole new level, because you can just take around your game with you wherever you go. We, we started working with XNA at the end of our first year in computer programming. And we loved it so much. We were actually inspired to start working on a game over the summer. Uh, we spent many Friday nights, which I know is totally our nerdness, but we spent many Friday nights pouring over code for hours, usually not finding what was wrong with it, but it was a lot of fun. This game was the biggest game we'd ever attempted. So we started off as a computer game because that was what we had. We didn't have a Zoom or an Xbox or anything. But we came back to school and Mr. Y was like, hey, let's pro put it on the Zoom. So we're like, okay. And because XNA is so, allows you to program for so many devices, it was just really easy to put it on the, the Zoom. So all you had to change was some of your graphics, the button logic, and add music, and ta-da, you had a game for the Zoom. Um, XNA really allows you to program for other things as well, like the Xbox 360 or the Zoom HD. And it's just so easy to put a computer game onto Xbox 360 or onto the Zoom with XNA. I this year I took advanced web design and I started working with actual clients. It was a lot different because I'm not just working on a project that I can turn into my teacher. I'm working on a real website that has to go on the internet. It was a learning experience to learn how to communicate with clients. The one thing that I regret is that a lot of the technology I use, Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Fireworks, I can't afford on my own computer. I have to rely on school technologies. The great thing about XNA is that it's free. We wanted to go work on a game in the summer where we just said, hey, let's sit down on my computer and download it. So last summer we, internship, we had an internship at Lockheed Martin. So we went into our interview and told them that we were computer programmers. And naturally, they apparently assumed that because you can program in Java and C Sharp, that means you can also program in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But we just caught on quick enough because through this computer programming class, we had already learned two languages in a year, and we had been accustomed to looking at code. So we had gotten used to the fact that the code that we looked at wasn't words, it was like a logic statement, and we could apply that logic statement to any language. And that really allowed us to work to be successful with Lockheed Martin. Now, as a graduating senior, I can see how computer science has really enriched my life. It has allowed me to gain skills for all for all areas of my life. And as I'm going into engineering, computer science will help me with that as well. XNA really gives me a fun way to do computer science, and so that when I'm doing boring things like making a car run, I can just sit down and make a game for making a car go fast and spin through little mazes instead.
Hi, my name is Molly Evans and I'm a senior here at Springbrook High School. Next year I will be attending Cornell University. <laughs> my name is Alyssa Parker. <laughs> I'm also a senior at Springbrook High School. Next year I'll be attending UC Berkeley. We've been in computer programming for four years and taken two years of, it, of web development. We co-founded the Springbrook Women in Technology Club. <laughs> we had a digital hockey book last summer. That's why I'm going to go get water. I think when we work with XNA, we actually have to create our own games. And it synthesizes so many skills from so many other classes. We have to use art to create graphics. We have to use physics to make our game more real. And we have to use our English homework to <laughs> XNA really allows you to combine multiple skills. For example, you have to use art to combine it to make a really good pro to make the game look really good. But similarly, you have to do physics because if you have a game and your characters are randomly floating up, then you're gonna be like, wait, where's the gravity? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 